Oci derisi aris solivanteris, oci derisi aris silves cortus. Ah, sorry. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of the Black Moon Chronicles soundtrack. If you don't know that, well, the game is old and maybe doesn't live up to today's standards, but the soundtrack is superb. So look that up. Um, Black Moon Chronicles, I believe? Look up the soundtrack if you don't know it. Now, mm, returning to the game. Um, right, our guy embarrasses the court, I'm going to let this auto-resolve. We're waiting for Renaissance to spread and we're waiting for our course here to be done so that we can attack Japan. It's finally time to deal with Japan. Let's pause. And yeah, let this auto-resolve. We can't attack them yet because we wouldn't be able to continue coring because they have claims here. Right. Renaissance. Yeah, black news indeed. I agree. 10%. Can I do it if I have enough money? <laughs> it needs to be embraced at least 10%, but it's embraced only by 10%. Okay, what if I increase autonomy in one of these that haven't embraced Renaissance? Is it good enough now? Not sure. Okay, we have one more province. Whichever it may be, just one more province and then we'll be able to do it. Just need some money. And that increase of autonomy was completely pointless, shouldn't have done that. Sure, you can have my tribute. Come on, Renaissance. Just one more province. Okay. Right, Tyre is doing some spying. Maybe I should increase autonomy somewhere. Do I have unrest? I have no unrest. So this would be pointless to increase autonomy. Okay, I'm going to wait until the cores are done. Integrating I... Oh, crap. This has decreased, hasn't it? There's no un... There's no renaissance in Ainu. Mm, 32 are out of... Hmm. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We have integrated Ainu. We have received some troops. Nice. We have received a fort we don't need. What should I do with these troops? I think I should move them. I should go here and move them. Natives assimilating. Cool. Always a good thing. Ah, too low morale. Soon. Soon. So how about that renaissance, eh? <laughs> Almost there. Okay, you ready? Not just yet. Just one more month. Shit! Seriously? Uh, can I call you to arms? Opinion. Outreach. Attitude. Diplo rep. Yeah, if you liked me, you'd have come. But you don't like me. No, you don't. Huh. Okay, no invasion of Japan then. We have to fight Russia instead. Now, um, can I handle Russia? Probably not. They have twice the army. Well, no, they don't have twice the army. They have a similar amount of troops. Well, one and a half. What do you want, Russia? This is a lot, don't you think? Maybe I can... Maybe I can do a white piece. They're, they're sure to have some other enemies. Anyway, I need to bring my troops home. We can't be dealing with Japan right now. Also, I need Renaissance. I need it bad. Yay! Russia is getting land. We'll get them serious war exhaustion and maybe they'll agree to a white piece or something, or at least to take more less stuff. Because seriously, we cannot compete with Russia. Let's get you guys here. We should just use automatic transport. No. Go here. 
tributary criminals. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Man, you suck. You have not defended your tributary. Hmm. And Russia is taking stuff from me. Conversion successful. My only chance is a quick advancement of military technology. And stuff. Tea imports. And the rest is not a problem for me right now. Uh, give me that mercantilism. That's a permanent buff, so it's theoretically better. Alright. And a bunch of course. So, do I need to reduce army maintenance? Do I need to reduce my army maintenance? Until they arrive here. That would be risky. Let's not do that. We can surely defeat some of the Russian armies in our vast plains. Because Russia just started a Russian <laughs> uh, land war in Asia. So they might have some attrition going on. Who knows? Although manpower is never a problem for the Russians. So how about that Renaissance, eh? Oh yes, we can do it. It'll cost us all the money. The base currency. Probably should have done that uh, only twice. It was a mistake. Now, we have cheaper technology. And we can quickly get the next tech level. Now we can quickly get the next tech level. Uh, the cost is still high because we are corrupt as crap. But, we now have, well, 12 versus 15 is still shit. But not as shit. Let's see. Step what? Step footman. Sure. Let's have a quick look at what tech we have acquired. Okay, so they have a tactics advantage, so that's bad. Also, we're getting extra corruption from unbalanced research. But with the amount of corruption we're getting, that's not a big deal. Okay, Russia's occupying stuff, and I have I have no more generals. Yeah, all I can do is try and dissuade them from invading our territory by getting them some war exhaustion and destroying their armies. I can't really beat them. Uh, especially since the AI was significantly improved and can now carpet siege. Um, but the army doesn't really matter, does it? So, if they spread their armies too thin, I will be able to destroy some of them. I could even go around and maybe conquer Moscow, who knows? Probably not, though. Probably not. So, our guys are suffering attrition. Maybe I'll be better off if I just make two armies off of them. Come on, merge you. I'll get you guys here. Yeah, we can't compete with Russia. Who is a rival of Russia? Who hates Russia? France. Well, we haven't even discovered them, have we? Well. We could defend in the mountains. Who would get there first? 31st? Mm, so, no. Where, when will you get here? 4th of August, 26th, nope. This is mountains though, and this is plains. We get advantage in both of those. So let's try to stop you here. I'll get there first, right? Oh, you stopped your advance. You're afraid of me, Russians? Maybe. Probably not though. They're probably just waiting for all of their, all of their troops to get here. Can invest in Diplotech, sure. Colonial range increase. So, do you want to go further into my territory? Get your attrition going. 
Only self-sustaining. Nice. No, you don't want to go further into my territory. I mean, you could cut them off. I can't let them... Hmm. This is mountains, this is mountains, this is mountains as well. This is plains. If I move here and here, they will probably advance through this area. But then I might separate some of them from the main herd, let's say. Okay, you changed your mind, you're moving. Can I catch you here? 19th? 16th? Will you change your mind? You have not changed your mind. We will get the terrain advantage and we will get the planes advantage, but we will also get some serious disadvantages because your military technology is so much superior. Shit. Just look at their morale. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, oh! That's unexpected. And they're sending more troops to fight. Well... Right. Religious pilgrimages. Admin the cost. Sure. Um, Trades gain loyalty. Why? Mm, sure. Now. I want a discipline guy. World armies. Land maintenance. When will you arrive here? I'm going to fire these guys. Sacrifice a lot of money. I need a discipline guy, whatever it costs. Before the end of this battle. Nope, that's not gonna work. Our air is now tolerant, which is fine. Are you willing to accept a um, peace deal? Do you want more or less now? No, we want less. Well, let's keep going. Now, um, advisor. Force limit, morale for defense. Shit. Should I run away? I mean, I can't win this, can I? Maybe I can cost them some more manpower. Yeah, we lost. Reforms. Admin power, diplo power, or military power. Hmm. Actually, I'd welcome some military power. Although admin will let me take a new idea group. Hmm. Guess I can ignore corruption for a while. Hmm. I need to abdicate, but I can't do it at war. Admin, diplo, or military. I guess I'll take admin. Admin's usually the best power. I can't just give up to the Russians. Well, at least we will not run out of manpower. And they might, although they're Russia, so they probably won't. Um, if this war takes on, takes forever, maybe. Armies? Total armies. Ming. <laughs> Where's Russia? Here. Yeah, they have tons of manpower. But they've just lost a lot of troops, and they are far in my territory. And they're suffering horrendous attrition. I should have defensive ideas. Yes. I should have defensive ideas. That would increase attrition for them. And then... They would all die. Discipline, yes. So... Island tech and ideas. I could get defensive ideas. When is the attrition applicable? At the very end of it. I could take quality. Quantity doesn't matter to us. I could take quality or I could take defense. Defense is great because they suffer horrible attrition and we get some extra morale. Hmm. On the other end, quality. Is always good. I think I'll get defensive. Switch our focus to military. We're fine with admin, but we need military now. Okay, that's good. Enough, good enough. Come on, Russians. Meet me in combat. Oops. 
Don't don't go together. You'll get attritioned. Oh, we lost the general. That's unfortunate. Um, maybe I'll make Arcana general. Even if we lose him, it's fine because our air is so much better. Come on, let's catch the Russian army. Which one, though? This is. Um, Actually, if I fought them together, I'll be fine. Let's go south. Where are you going? I don't know where you're going, but I'll catch you. Yeah, you're in my land now. I thought Russia, Russia would just kill me, but... Maybe I can fight them. Especially if I could finish uh, defensive ideas. Okay. Ah, Pasai conquered some of Ayutthaya. I'm completely fine with this. Also, can we get any good Diplo advisors? No. I don't know where you're going. I could trap you by putting my guys in, in mountainous provinces. Or I could just fight you in the plains, which gives me a tremendous boost to my damage. Let's just keep you together. Where are you going? You're going here. This is a mountainous province. If I can get there first... Probably can't get there first. Confirm the attribute. Sure. Where are you going? You're going... Oh, you're running away. This way. Chase the Russians. Probably can't get there before them. Uh, they will get there on the 16th. I will get them... Oh, they will get there in February. I will get there in March. Um, what about... No, that's okay. Let's wait for them to leave. The area. And then we can be on their tail. Suffering some attrition? That's fine. Need to debase my currency. That's okay. Here we go. Where are you going to? Oh, you're going down here. Well, I'm going to meet you from the other side. And you're going to run away from me, aren't you? Maybe they're going to do up. No, actually, I'm not going to meet you from the other side. I'm going to block your way from this one. Catch this army and destroy it. I might be slightly obsessed with this army. I should decrease my war exhaustion. Ah, don't have that. Don't have the diplo power. Soon we will. Oh, you're bringing another army in. To the area. Right, probably could use some forts. Oh, they're too expensive. Yeah, I should have gone from the other side. Kanem Borno has a civil war, and you're going to Bhutan. Assassination of a noble admin power or unity. It's fine. Where the hell are you running to? Oh, we're going back to Bhutan. Maybe I can go to this place before you can do it. Okay, who gets there first? 22nd of August? 16th of August. Haha! <laughs> you stop what you're doing. I need you as reinforcements. Now we wait for them to get the Patok icon. And here we go. We are the defenders in the mountains. Although we don't get the shock acra. Still it might be sufficient. It's expired, golden arrow for the Teutonic Order, and we won! Haha. <laughs> Suck on that, Russians. How is their manpower? 
It's fine. Oh, it's mine. Sorry. Yeah, there's it's fine as well. So I'll go this way, and the other bit goes this way. You know, attrition-wise. And you're less interested in fighting this war. I would be glad to sign to sign the white piece. And I have kind of shown superiority. Yeah. You just need to win the battles. It's a holy war after all. Go to Ladakh and chase them into Timurid territory. Oh, you're running away into my territory up here. Maybe I can chase these guys down. The Ming Sphere, sure. Ming should like me. Okay, there's a lot of Russians in this area. Maybe we should go after these guys instead. Now let's be cautious and not run into any stupidity. Actually, this is mostly planes. So I should be fine here. Just go to Kokand. Can I catch you here? No. Attacking this place would be a mistake. And you are going here to the mountains. Alright. I'm going around you. Maybe you'll attack me, maybe not. But I'm not fighting you in the hills. Actually, can I go to Moscow? Why the hell not? If all of their troops are here. Yeah, attrition. Attrition is horrible. War exhaustion is high. Reduce. Oops. Um, who's going to be there first? 4th of April? I th oh, I'll be there first. They'll get the crossing penalty. Maybe. And they run away from us. Ha, cowards. My hope is they won't be able to retake Moscow in time. Or rather, bring tr enough troops to prevent me from taking it. Then again, this is a high-level fort. Oh no, it's just a basic fort. Yeah, I'm taking horrible attrition, but... Well, what can you do? Right? Also, we're using banners. Which makes it mostly fine. And we have won most of the battles. We might be okay. Anyway, I want to reduce war exhaustion. Ah, not enough diplo power. Uh, do you have siege value? No, no. Do we have any better leaders? No. Well, so the king can go to Moscow and you can go, well, next to it. And send him the cannon. Which won't help much, but it will help. Yeah, have the cannon. Now, they might come back and try to uh, stop us, so we should choose our battlefield. And this is a good battlefield because it's a plains. Ryazan. They're taking stuff, but are they coming back? They might be. Oh, Portugal has circumnavigated the globe. Okay. Now, I need to be real lucky with this siege. Can I make a breach? Oh, I only have zero artillery, apparently. Can I get mercenaries? Okay, this is going to be super expensive, but this is also necessary. Give me merc mercenary cannons here. Also, let's take the adjacent province as well. So we can hire more mercenary cannons. That will cost all the money, but also make all the difference. Tyrosin fur. No. War exhaustion. I, I know. Actually, let's uh, split you in half, send some over to wherever. Kasimov. Sure, can be Kasimov. Cannons. More cannons. More mercenary cannons. How many do I need for the maximum bonus? 
10 cannons, sure. All right, you're a little bit sure, I don't have money. I need to debase my currency again and again. Let's continue. Cannon, move in. And more cannons again. Right. This could be sufficient. Let's see if the Russians are coming here. They seem to not care at all. Okay, so I'll take the other guys and just... Let's see Nizhny Novgorod. Yes. With all the cannons here. We're very far from my capital. And occupying these random provinces will not give you much. Alright. Cannons are being constructed. That'll be sufficient. Yeah, siege. Coop the Oud. What? Indo dynasty in Oud has enraged the Muslim establishment in the area. A Muslim convert from the Oud has now been enthroned to avoid an. Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's probably. It's interesting, but if you are in that area. We're kind of busy with Russian invasions. Okay, how many cannons do I have? Not enough, apparently. Uh, right. All the cannons. Perfect. This is costing us a lot of everything. But finally. We'll have your capital, and we'll have you bow to us. You will bow, Russian. Bow to the Manchu hordes. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they took some land, but not our capital. Quality wool. I can't say I'm really very interested in this right now. Although, I guess I can send you over here. Kazan. Okay, 64%. And still a fail. Let's just wait a little bit longer. And hope for the best. Come on, come on. Yes. So we're still losing, theoretically. It's just a theoretical thing. Um, I can sign a white piece, which would be a victory, but I am already in their territory with tons of cannons and sieging multiple forts. Why wouldn't I continue? Well, maybe because they're coming back, but maybe I can get one more before I, before I surrender. Or rather, before I make them surrender. Let's um, detach some guys. Send them over here. I mean, I'll probably have to take the white piece, but... Let's just make sure to see they're not in my capital. Yeah, if they come here, I can probably not defeat them. Although, what army of Poland? Oh, that's just insulting. Well, not really. I'm not easily insulted, but, you know, sad. Hmm. You. Forty-two percent chance of success. Now, if I could meet them in battle, I could probably win. Just need to look for a good battlefield. Like here, for example. This is a good battlefield. You guys should probably come back. Where are you going? To my battlefield of choice. Perfect. Let's wait for the padlock icon, of course. And converge on our enemy. I guess uh, how many days until this ticks? Three days. Well, I guess I can wait three days. Nope, didn't tick. Okay, I'll leave one unit. 
Oh, I can't go here. Ah, shit. You can. We won't get there in time, will we? You need to stay here. You need to stay where you are. For now. And we need to defend in this area. Which is a forest which is not convenient for us at all. But with all the reinforcements that we could get, who knows? Who knows? And even if we lose, we will probably be able to get a white piece. So let's do it. Oh. Oh crap, we get that we are the attacker apparently. We have more than twice your army size, so who knows? See you in one of your provinces. Anyway, it's time to end the episode. I'm probably going to sign a peace deal soon, but maybe we can get something from Russia. And beating Russia, well, it's something, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Where's that button? I can't find the button. <laughs> okay, see ya.